So, yeah, it happened again. I got posted on Lad Bible. Now, if you're not familiar with what Lad Bible is, or you're not familiar with me saying I got posted on it again, basically, a few months ago, I made a video called I Faked Being Rich on Instagram, and it ended up on Lad Bible. Now, Lad Bible is a place for lads. And I'm gonna say I'm Bibles, but it's definitely not a place for Bibles. In my last video, I faked going to Coachella, and that video has actually been picked up by Lad Bible, posted on their page, and received quite a lot of hate. Now, if you haven't already guessed by the title, or you didn't see my last one of these videos, I'm gonna be reading the comments from old bald men that probably wanna kill me. So, enjoy. I read these comments as if it's not me, and then all of a sudden it just clicks, like, while these people are talking about me, so I'm there laughing. But actually, they're talking about me. And now my feelings are hurt. <laughs> So the first comment is actually from Gareth. Gareth said, looks like it would be cheaper and a lot easier just to go to Coachella. Gail replied saying, thinking same thing, probably much more fun too. Um, I can assure you that I spent £150 on clothes, which I then returned, and I also didn't spend any other money. So if you can find me flights to LA for less than £150, alongside festival tickets, alongside festival outfits, alongside the Uber ride to the festival every day and back, then let me know because I would love that. That would be a bargain because tickets alone are like $500 so thanks but no thanks Gareth. It's comments like this that I just don't get. Bree said sometimes I'm optimistic about the future and this awesome generation that's going to be so innovative in saving our planet socially and environmentally. Then I see videos like this and think that we all just need to burn it all down right now. Maybe that's just a tad bit dramatic, just a tiny bit, like just a smidgen bit dramatic, you know? All I did is make a video photoshopping myself into a desert at a festival and apparently we need to end the full world. Like I'm pretty sure you know, people like Hitler existed once, but let's just keep the world open for him, I guess. Donald Trump's still a thing, let's just keep it open, you know. Build the wall, keep it rolling, but as soon as I make a Coachella video, nope, that's it, end it, press restart, bye. Someone called Gary literally put, preach that truth. I feel like we should send Bree and Gary together on a spaceship to a faraway country where they can live happily ever after, just those two, because apparently me doing absolutely anything offends absolutely everyone. And I'm kind of happy about it, you know, that kind of boosts my ego a little bit that I'm actually making such a big impact in that lives whilst I'm earning money and also having fun, you know? But what's new? Work your 9 to 5, sis, that's fine. Ed said, did he trick them into thinking he was straight? But also this is Ed. His wife looks like a witch. If this woman had a cauldron and a little layer in the bottom of her house in the basement or something and kept frog's legs and eyeballs in jaws, I honestly would not be surprised. He also looks like he does some sort of human centipede activities in his spare time, so did you convince us you weren't a pedophile? What are these kids on? Do anything for followers. Muppet. Time to leave the planet. <laughs> really? Is it that deep? I actually worry about these people. Jessica said, sis made it again. And also Megan said, we stand a sister. I feel like James Charles is going to sue me at some point for using the word sister. Um, please don't. I have zero money. Thanks. Steven said, all he packed in his bum bag was a dildo and a tube of KY. I don't know what KY is, but when you come to think of it, actually... <laughs> Honestly, it seems like a good time taking a dildo to a festival, you know? What the fuck did I just watch? Just proves how vapid social media is and how stupid the younger generation is. I actually think making a career out of posting selfies and stuff online is actually kind of not as dumb as people think. Like, if you can turn that into actual money, that's kind of smart. But it's fine, Mark. You continue being a top fan on Lad Bible. Like, honestly, it's fine. Chadwick Baker said, lol, God, I hate this time period we live in. Trying so hard to act cool and make people think you went to Coachella. This is his photo. Um, he looks like he applied to be on Greece and then just became an extra on the set of Greece and stole like one of the prop beers and then poses with like, oh my god, I were on Greece. Posting shit comments on Facebook videos. You know they only made this because they got busted about making it up, right? Michael Jenner. Oh my god. Don't be fucking rude. Are you kidding me? The thing I don't get about this comment is people actually thought me and Anna made the video going to Coachella because we got caught out faking going and tried to cover it up as if we meant to do that the entire time. Which is kind of a good idea, but also I would never fake something like going to Coachella like that unless it was for a video. So sorry to break it to you, Michael Jenner, Chris Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner. I didn't get caught out trying to fake going to Coachella. It was all intentional in the first place. I think this next comment is by far my favorite. See, just posted a massive black dildo. 
Um, I don't think that I'd fit in my bum bag, not gonna lie. I think we'd have to get a smaller one, but I'm down. Probably the lamest shit I've ever seen. What the heck is Coachella? What is the fucking point? Stop promoting nonsense, please. This has 64 likes. Lad Bible has gone to shit. What's lad about this post? I'm ashamed to be a top fan. Get in the fucking sea, you wretch child. What does that even mean? Because I actually love the beach. So if anyone wants to send me on a free holiday, you know, influencer perk, Coachella next year, hit me up. Oh, my back, my back, my back, my back, my back, my back. Oh. I don't know what hurts more, my back or the fact these comments are so shit. Steve said, tossers. In the end of the day, it means nothing. <laughs> I don't know why the laugh were necessary on the end of that. Who is this dickhead? Honestly, good question. Get a life. Says Lee, using a Snapchat filter in his profile photo. You wasted a lot of time and effort to show people that you're a pair of social climbing gimps. I don't really know what to say to that other than Congratulations on being a jealous bitch. Daniel said, that's a lot of effort just to look like a knob. You may as well have just gone to Coachella. If I could afford to go to Coachella, or if I got asked to go to Coachella, you bet your sweet ass, Daniel. I would have hopped on that plane to LAX with my dream and my cardigan, but I can't afford it, nor did I get asked, so here I am. Troy said, influencers need to be put in a 25 feet deep hole in the middle of the desert and left there. Is that? God, see <laughs> Are they famous or something? I've literally no idea who they are. Also, it seems like a big waste of time. Oh my god, you don't know who Anastasia King's North is? Floral Princess. Damn, some people did not watch Moshi News at 5 and it really does show. Hello and welcome to Moshi News at 10. Oh my god, Saw is so good. Like, charity work, hi, how are ya? I'll save you guys the trouble and five minutes of your time watching this. There's no tits or anything lad like it in this video. Skip. If this is what you wanted then, bitch, here. Have it. Nick Priest said fuck off and die. It's kind of ironic that his name's Priest. Like, surely he should be all holy and stuff, but he's telling people to fuck off and die, so see you in hell, bitch. Five minutes of my life gone forever. That is so damn dramatic. Like, you probably have a shit longer than five minutes. Like, it probably takes you six minutes, seven minutes on average to pull your trousers down, sit on the toilet, and release the shit from your intestines. But here you are rolling your eyes at the fact you watched me fake going to Coachella. Yeah, actually, I do see that is bad. I would rather watch watched my shit drop out my arsehole then watch me. So I kind of agree with that, yeah. I'm with you, Alex, on this one. Fucking sad bellends. This is why Instagram needs to go away because people actually think dumb shit like this is noteworthy. Wonder what all the influencers would do if Instagram shut down and they had to go and actually learn a skill. Now, what I don't actually get about people that say stuff like this is, say Jacob Y. Oh my God, he's got the same name as Jacob. A concept. Say Jacob over here works in, I don't know, Starbucks as a barista. You know, he works at Starbucks he's doing his barista job then Starbucks decides to close Jacob loses his job and has to find a new one if Instagram shuts down little on me loses my job I still have YouTube bitch no, I'm kidding. But say if the entire internet just turned off and never came back on again, I'd still have to go and find another job. Just like if you were working at New Look, decided to shut down, you'd have to go and find another job. If anyone's job got took away from them, anyone would have to find a new job no matter what it is. So this comment really makes no sense, but that's tea for Tuesdays. Is this his sister in the video? Did she also went to Coachella? <laughs> Did she also went to Coachella? But yeah, it's my sister. We kiss sometimes though, but I guess that's just like family relationships, family bond, you know, blood's thicker than one. Water, guys. Absolute wankers. Anything for a few likes. Mandy said, what the fuck is this shit? And honestly, I agree. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm gonna end this video here. I, um... I'm kind of disappointed that people didn't go in harder, you know. I feel like I've heard all the comments before, so I'm kind of not affected by it. Not that I'm affected by it anyway. The funniest part about all this is my mum actually rang me and was like, oh my god, the comments on the Lad Bible thing are interesting. Go look. So my mum's read all these, so thanks guys. Um, you know, I bet my mum loved reading that about her son. That actually she took nine months to grow inside of her to then come out and just post faking going to Coachella bitch, you know. I think my mum's probably the most disappointed out of everyone, so hold your horses. It's fine. If you enjoyed it, please do smash a big thumbs up. Maybe I'll make another one of these videos in the future. Let's try and get my shit posted more places and make me viral. Um, one, that'll boost my ego a lot more. And two, we can make more videos. It's a win-win all around, ladies and gentlemen. Also, thank you to everyone that were nice. I saw quite a lot of comments on the Live Bible post actually sticking up for me and defending me. You guys don't have to do that because then you'll just end up arguing with literally imbeciles. What's new? I appreciate the love. Anyway, like I said, make sure you subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, which kind of blows my mind. 
and I am gonna end this video because I am hot, sweaty, and my back is killing. I love you a lot, and I'll see you in a few days' time. Bye! Oh, fuck. I missed the fuck. Ow, fuck, fuck! I missed the camera lens. Bye! <laughs> uh, oh, God, I just only threw up.